So let's talk about Rengar. A lot of people seem really underwhelmed at the rework, so first I'm going to tell you on how great an of idea the rework is, and then we can rip it down and talk about why it fails to execute more specifically. There was a big flaw in Rengar's design that made a damage-oriented Rengar almost impossible to balance. For Rengar, his attack pattern was great for his theme. He would spot a vulnerable target, set up his ferocity and positioning, alt and unseen towards the target, and then jump in and go for the kill. The problem begins here with one of two outcomes. One, Rengar kills the target, but the time window of the target's experience is so small that it can lead to poor communication about what is killing them until it's too late. This is frustrating and against the communication rules of League of Legends abilities. Or, two, Rengar doesn't kill the target and now lacks the tools and ability to continue the hunt and get the kill without being kited and bursted down. He feels useless and frustrated. Because neither outcome is acceptable from a design perspective for all parties, there is no way to balance him to get an optimal outcome and you have to back up and rework the champion. The best way to do this is both lengthen the window in which Rengar deals damage, but also give him the tools needed to accomplish that within his kit. It's okay if he kills a vulnerable target, he just needs to take longer to do so. We want to aim for an almost Akali vibe where she is bursty, but also uses her stickiness to stay on targets long enough to burst them over an extended period of time. And so we have the Rengar rework changes. Let's ignore the numbers for now and just talk about how the power was moved around towards our goal. Bone Tooth Necklace only adds utility scaling, but no loss of stacks on death and is built into a free trinket. Q, no attack speed unless empowered and non-procking on turrets, but a shorter cooldown to allow multiple uses within his damage window. W, the heal is nerfed, but the armor and magic resist now scales with champion's hit. E, skill shot with longer range and slightly better effects, lets us buff it for close range when it will almost certainly hit the target. R, only gains movement speed when moving towards targets, moves the ferocity generation to post jump, as well as adding a large 5 second move speed buff post jump to allow us to stick on a target. This is the most important change as it shifts the damage over a longer period of time and lets us stick to the target with move speed. Great, so we widened the damage window and gave him more tools to work with. So now let's talk about why they don't work well. Wait, there's another change? Targets are alerted when Rengar is within 1000 range and stealth, but do not gain vision of him. We just read how literally every change of this patch was to allow Rengar to do damage over a longer period of time to keep his stealth and maintain his theme. And now we are saying fuck it and adding an indicator to his approach. Why do enemies know he's coming? Is he such a bad hunter that he makes a lot of noise? Did he catch Scar's cough and can't help it? Are we catering to the elderly players who will get too startled by something jumping from stealth that they need a pre-warning indicator? There are a million better ways to implement whatever this is supposed to do. There are no redeeming factors to this change. Please God, just remove it. Let's move on. Why don't these changes work? Well, we shifted a lot of power around, but we did far more removing than adding. Rengar was already a champion that relied on creative use of game mechanics by the community to remain viable time and time again. Now we are stripping that away and stripping power away from a lot of his kit, but only adding back in very little. Also, so much of his damage is pumped into the Q that we absolutely must be next to an attack in the target to have any hope of damage, so he is much more vulnerable to peeling kiting than other spell-based bruisers, fighters, assassins, so he becomes a really shitty version of Renekton, with less damage, less utility, less survivability, and not even the act of surprise his entire theme is based around. They even took power away from his split pushing, but I can't for the life of me figure out where they put it instead. He has one skill that scales well with AD, one skill that scales with AP for some reason, one skill that scales well with level, and one skill that does no damage at all. He is a clusterfuck of scaling and useless in all of them. Champions need a core competency to ever be taken seriously, and if they want to remove surprise single target damage as his, it's fine, but they need to replace it with something else instead of diluting him to nothing. The changes in this rework had a chance to be perfect for the champion and deliver him the power he needed while making the experience less toxic, but it was dealt out with such a scare touch that he ends up being a pointless champion in almost every regard. I was so excited for this change, but without the numbers to back it up, I'm just disappointed and have no reason to bring him into my pool of champions. Big, big shame. 
There were a few changes in the pipeline for Rengar, increasing the speed of cues and changing the indicator, seriously just so I can remove it, but until we really define what he is supposed to be, he will continue to feel like a floppy, disappointing version of the Rengar we have known.